Hello and welcome back. Hey, my name's C. Scott, and we're back today on FTB Ultimate Reloaded here. And right off the bat, we're going to do a little bit of different stuff here. We're going to do a little bit of time lapse, and while we do that, I want to show you guys kind of what I've been doing. We'll talk about some things, and then we're going to get into at the end of today, not the end, but probably the majority of our time is going to be focused on getting rid of that huge, huge oil well that we have right in our middle of our base area. So that's the goal for the, end, for the day. I got some cool things to, to do with that. But uh, what I really want to kind of show with you is, is that it's been a, about two days since I released a real video, and I've honestly been crazy, crazy busy around here on the server. We built out the full nether network with our turtle, which uh, you guys would have seen the live stream of how we put the turtle together. That's been put up. We did that, which was, uh, I don't know, I probably spent about eight hours, nine hours doing just that alone. But we got everybody on the server connected up to our nether hub now, so which is really, really sweet. Um, as you can see here, I'm, I also worked on the back side of the house, kind of brought that in and kind of kind of transitioned it back into the uh, into the landscape a little bit better, like like it a little bit better now, the way that it's it's kind of working out of that. So that's good. Um, one of the other things that we've done is, is I worked on a pathway and when we get done with the time lapses and stuff I'll, I'll show you the actual kind of concept, but this is us trying to put this pathway down in front of our house and uh, I don't know it's different I, I don't know if I I think I'm okay with it uh, but I I am actually I really really enjoy the way it looks it's it's uh, it's starting to grow on me a lot actually and then we're gonna use this and replicate this as the roads the pathways throughout our whole island here that we've got going on which is really really crazy awesome cuz I'm pretty stinking excited about it there's uh, there's just so much to do that we can actually get doing here so I'm really excited here by the way so all right Okay, well, hey, sit back and watch the rest of this time lapse, and I'll join you guys here in just a second. And what we'll do is we'll kind of get started with the rest of the day. I really wanted to kind of show you off how we built all of this stuff here. So I'll see you guys when the time lapses are done. Okay, so this is ultimately how it kind of turned out. I went ahead and put some more spruce, little leaves, but I kind of like the feel and look of it coming up and down. It's kind of nice, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but with the pathway, this is kind of how I laid it out in here I started. So I came down here, nice level flat area here, and set this up. So if we're gonna do other places, we can use some little stairs to kind of give a little bit of depth and whatnot here. So that's kind of how I laid it out originally, and then it was trying to put it up there. What I've also done, I've also come through and marked the corners of our of our of our uh, center, our town center, I guess. And if you'll notice the chunk grid lines here, I went ahead and put this at the chunk. So we've got two chunks this way and two chunks this way. Check this out. So this has all been marked out here, and this is where that's going to be, which I'm really excited about that here. So that's been laid out uh, at least at least the outer portions of it have been of where we're going to be so right here this is going to be the center point of a bridge and this bridge is going to actually be we're going to take all of this out and we're going to connect these two rivers up through here <laughs> and we got a lot of work to do ladies and gentlemen we got a lot of work and we have that oil well back there that we got to get rid of and do rivers back in there so we've got a lot there and that'll be coming up here pretty soon but the big thing for the day look at that thing <laughs> i got it framed out baby it's time to do it it is time to take down the massive oil the government's not going to have anything on us ladies and gentlemen they're not coming for our oil because it's going to be gone and we're going to have it and it's going to be all ours so as you can see we've got some rails and everything set up down here and i've started to set in the industrial center industrial area here i've got some track laid out and by the way look at all these tracks and they're all 3d like that's pretty cool <laughs> thanks to mr t fox with some help we worked on some of that today too so i've spent some i've spent a lot of time doing a lot of crazy things that haven't really been forced towards the you know pack progression but just fun stuff now this here is going to be the bridge over into our uh into our tunnel that's going to connect the trains into our uh, into our island here and so they'll come in here and then we'll figure something out but right now i've got a couple train station train tracks set here and by the way, look at look at that glint, look at that glisten off that is so pretty. So, but that's going to be set for that. Uh, by the way, if you uh, were around last time, look at this. This is sick. <laughs> that is sick. Look at this. That is sick. Look at this, full of fluid. Look at this, full of fluid. Look at these, halfway full of fluid. Oh. But that was like two stacks of, of logs there. That's it. So I think we have more than enough in here 
that we're ever going to need of latex. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that much latex. Well, I got, yeah. <laughs> we're going to keep it family friendly around here, but <laughs> you know what I mean. But uh, this will get up there here in just a second. But first, we're going to have to create some stuff for this. So, uh, first off, we're going to do a, a pump. We need a pump, latex for pump. So, uh, let's go here. Uh, we're gonna have to get some of this started here first. Let's get all that in there, and then there we go. And then just like this, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just get eight of them. And then I understanding as I throw them into here, and voila, and they come out, and they are great. I was doing some pump, some lamps because I had some up there. We're gonna look at a pump. So you could do the build craft pump. The build craft pump has actually been disabled again, as you can see for performance reasons. Use industrial foregoing pump. No problems, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty excited about this. We probably is. We're gonna have to find some lava, and we got a couple buckets here. So let's let's create one, two, three, and there, and here. So there's three buckets. We're gonna need to go find a bucket of water, bucket of lava, and an empty bucket. Eek. I wonder if I got any lava anywhere. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna have to give me a second because I failed I failed to think about this. I gotta go back down, all the way down our little mine to the bottom there, because that is the only thing of of lava that I see. Or I could run over here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, guess what? I'll see you guys on the flip side once I've grabbed this lava up. Well, now I gotta say that's some pretty piss poor planning if I've ever seen it at the best, <laughs> at the finest. <laughs> so, all right, I got my lava and my water. There we go. So let's get to building this thing. Uh, we just need a machine framing. Uh, so we're gonna need a couple gears here. So let's go one, two, three, four. We'll get four of those in there. Those are gonna need some stone gears. That's cool. And one, two, three, four. We'll call that good too. So. We'll need a gold gear, which is no problems, but uh, let's go ahead and finish out this machine frame first. So we just need the 10 gear, 10, build a machine frame, voila, done. Okay, next we're going to have the gold gear. Gold gear done, voila. All right, next, that should be it. All right, now we have one fluid pump. So I went ahead and pulled out some other things. We got some steam dynamos with us. We got some water for our aquasis accumulator, fluid ducts, leadstone pipes. Those are all things we already had. Let's grab a stack and maybe two stacks here of, uh, of the charcoal. And uh, then we need to get to making some carts, some pump carts specifically, so, or tank carts, tank carts. I wanna do four of these right now. So first things first, we need to do these tanks here. And that's pretty simple. It's just gonna be plates and panes. I think I got plenty. So there's one to start. And then we gotta do the mine cart. So one, two, three, and four, four. Really, you're gonna let me stock three of those? All right, well, wow, that sucks. <laughs> One, and uh, there we go, two, three, there we go. Wow, I didn't know that. I learned something new. You can only stack three tank carts. Wow, that sucks, by the way. Okay, um, well, I think that's about it. I guess we're about to go up to the top. Well, actually, we're gonna sleep first here. Well, now that we're ready to go, let's get up top there and let's get that thing. The, ladies and gentlemen, this we've been working on this. We've been sitting here looking at this stupid thing for a long time. And I'm pretty excited to be able to finally get up here and start pumping this stupid thing out. Oh, man, am I? Am I really am I ready, ready here to go? So we're going to have to get up here. I got all these tracks laid out. So the goal is, is that we're going to put some train stuff up here. Yeah, we're going to do trains and we're going to move it out by train. So we'll set all these carts down here ready to go. But first we got to get up here and we got to get the pump and the powers going for this. Instead of doing the super cheaty ender tank stuff, I've ran our pipes. We're going to do, we're going to pipe this whole thing. Oh shoot. <laughs> I already forgot something. Let's go back down before we even start. We're going to need a servo. So let's grab a servo. I'm gonna do a hardened servo on this. We're just gonna pick this up a little bit. So we're gonna grab that. Dang it, I forgot. All right, let me beat you back right exactly where we were up on the first level. And uh, we'll see you guys in a second. All right, servo in hand, we're headed up. So look at this thing. So I've used these uh, industrial craft scaffolds to do a lot of this so that it'll make breakdown really simple but they're really finicky kind of i mean and they got some pretty cool mechanics with them and stuff so using those like you can't span real far with them and this is like because these two are here that's that and you see this little oak plank underneath that and yeah dude it's it's 
it was kind of a cool thing to get to learn. So, but I'll tell you, there. Hopefully, when I get ready to tear this thing down, it's going to be well worth using portions of this thing as scaffolding because there's a lot of there's a lot of wood up in here, by the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I got the pipe. I have this uh, flux duct or fluid duct all the way up here, ready to go on top. And look at this. We even got the red light. I don't think anybody's got planes in here, but we'll turn off the red light during the daytime, huh? <laughs> red light, green light, red light, green light. <laughs> nah, I would leave it. I would turn it off. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I'm having a lot of fun, by the way, if you can't tell. Okay, so we're going to have to put power into this thing. Now, I don't know how this stinking thing is going to work. Do I have my coin on me? Yeah, I do. So if I drop this thing in here, it's not going to be too bad. Okay, uh, let's do... I'm going to go ahead and put him out here first. I'd like to just look at him. Okay, that's cool. And tanks empty. So I guess that's... Okay, that's our output tank. So... We can go anywhere with it. We just need to get, ooh, I about fell into the hole. That was bad news, so. Oh, look at that. Side left north, side back east. Oh, that's super cool. All right, cool. I'm holding shift, by the way, because I'm scared of falling off here. But that's pretty cool to see that up on top there. All right, great. Uh, so let's go ahead and break him down. I want to go ahead and put him in here. I'm going to go right here, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and kill this area and that area there. And then we're going to take the fluid pipes here. And I'm not going to hook them all the way up yet, but it's going to go into there, into that back side back is what we're showing there. All right, so then I've got a little bit more wood here, so let's go ahead and set up our power. Uh, this will be, and I'll hold up here, Slim. Let's go this way. And there, there. Uh, I can go here and here. And I'll go here and here. All right, cool. So I want to go ahead and place this, our steam dynamo. And this one's reinforced, so it's going to have plenty of power in it. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this guy this way. The other way, the other way. There we go, perfect, just like that. And then we'll we'll drop some redstone flux ducts on it. Okay, actually, probably what we're going to do is take him up. Actually, no. We're good. We're good here. So then we're going to place an aqueous accumulator here. Man, I got a couple buckets of water. We'll go right there with one, and we'll go right here with one. Okay. And now you should be getting water in there. That's got water. Cool. So fluid duct from there to here. All right. This has water. That's already got power. I'm going to take out my turbine conversion on it. Now it can, can produce just normal stuff. And bada bing, bada boom, the sucker's running, baby. There we go, there we go. So then I want to come here with our energy cell. So coming in from the side. All right, blue's always in, orange is out. So we're set there for that. Let's turn him on, get some power into him. There we go, look at that. Power's coming in, power's being produced. What are we producing at? 80 RF per tick, oh, that's great. So awesome, nothing too big. All right, next, let's see about this guy. So this guy's got power, 2.0. Holy smokes, he's already got 32 barrels of oil in him. <laughs> Holy crap, that's fast. That is fast. Wow, where's that all coming from, by the way? I don't see anything disappearing down there. Well, all right, let's go ahead and go ahead and hook up the rest of the fluid ducts here to it. Okay, now I think that I'm going to play, first place this servo in here. Okay, turn the servo on, ignore the redstone, and it's going to lose oil. Okay, great. So that means that it's moving down here to our uh, fluid input system that we got down there for our trains. All right, very cool. All right, let's turn the power back on to him. There, now you get power. You know, you should be getting powered. What am I? I've disabled. There we go. Now she's getting power. Now she's catching oil. Now it's working. Okay, so we are now pumping oil, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of curious on how this is working. Let's get down here to the bottom and look at this thing here. All right. These are also nice ladders, by the way. Where's that oil coming from? Where's it removing it from first? I'd love to know where that's coming from because that thing's not coming down, is it? No, it's still way up there. Holy smokes. All right, well, maybe it's going all the way to the ground first. If that's the case, we're going to, we gotta have to need some more tanks. So each one of these tank carts that we're about to put in here, they'll have hold 32 buckets worth of, of fluid, which is really, really awesome. But I'm a little nervous here that 32 buckets is not going to be enough. 
I mean, we filled that thing up in a hurry here. So the way we're gonna set this thing up, I went in and grabbed five here, is I'm gonna set a one and a two and a three. Come on, four, five, okay. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna start connecting these guys up with our crowbar, so link them together. Link created, link created, link created. All right, awesome. Okay, I think I can start pushing them through here. Let's see if I can push. Come on, guys. Let's get let's get it. Look, let's get it on here. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Okay, there we go. So now it's stopped in there, and that's going to fill that up with 32 buckets of oil. Holy smokes! Did I just? All right, cool. So then the next thing we're going to want to do is put down our little our steam engine right here. Okay, and he's going to push all of these. So we're going to link link awesome just like that so there we go that's 32 buckets filling up oh baby let's go get a little bit of water here and we're gonna get our ooh, I probably should have bought that up upstairs there that's okay our aqueous accumulator over here has some water in it we can grab a couple buckets real quick and then we'll get our train filled up we're not gonna need a lot of it right now one two there we are and we still got some charcoal on us yeah we're gonna be good so I am excited actually I'm really excited to see how well this is going to work. So let's get the train moving. We're back to Railcraft, ladies. And oh, look at that. It just keeps moving on through. How sweet is that? Okay, there's one. There's two. All right, that should be more than enough. Let's get some charcoal in there. Holy smokes. All right, we're going to go sleep this off. What's well, a full moon? That's a full moon. That is a beautiful moon, actually, by the way. All right, I'm going to go sleep this off, and uh, we'll be back when it's daylight, and we kind of see how this thing's working. All right, so we're waking up now, coming back up here. Look at this. It's already filled four of the tanks. We Did I only put four up there? I thought we put five. There's one, two, three. Oh, I still got the one right here. Okay, no problem. So let's go ahead and fill the rest of our... Our tank our train up here because I want to do this there we go all right and when that one's done it should release the train this is really cool by the way I'm super excited this is this is this is this is awesome that's that's 64 buckets right there that's another 64 buckets it's 128 buckets of oil and look it's coming down it's actually coming down that is super cool all right are you full yet Oh, he's waiting on something. I wonder what's going on up there. Look at that thing. Oh, it's filling it with stone? Oh, we're going to have a huge stone pillar here soon. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go upstairs and double check what's going on with this thing. Well, let's go. And hopefully that doesn't push my train too far. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go. Look at that. It's cobblestone up there. I don't think we're out of power, are we? Ah, we can't be out of power. No way. I call BS. All right, up we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's, let's find out what's going on. What's going on with our little tank? What's what's up with the little guy? Okay. Uh, is it? Is it still working? Really? There's something going on here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what it is. Look at that. But I mean, it's, it's, yeah, let's go down here. I wonder if, okay, so there, it's like it stopped right here. Or our system has been full down. I don't know. Either way, let's get the trains moving. Let's go get this stuff into the train station. I'm, I'm, I'm more, I'm, I'm, I'm more excited about that. All right, forget it. We're going to go the fast way here. Aha, there we are. All right, I hope this one's full, by the way. Hell, it's not. It's got it's got two more buckets full. Okay, well, let me... Here, hold up here. What, the, what am I thinking here? He's going to get some oil. We're going to get him some oil. There we go. Let's get that two buckets you need there, big guy. There we are. Okay, now... Let's go idle... And I'm gonna let him run himself because he's set up to go into the far one over there. So let's check this dude out here. The little worker train. Here we go. Here we go. Choo choo choo. <laughs> I love him. I love it. I love it. Here we go, Getty. 
Are you getting any? Oh, hey, come on. You really got to hurry up. We're all waiting on you. That's odd, by the way. See, this isn't getting anything. So I'm wondering what's going on up there. I'll have to look at some of the ranges and stuff. Oh, I wonder if it's going to take one of those range upgrades if that if they have at industrial. Um, industrial foregoing. Oh, because they got some upgrades. I bet we need an upgrade. What's like energy? Uh, what's a range? Is this it? I can do that. We'll do this one. That's got like a tier 11. Okay, so we'll do that. Are you got power? Yeah, you do. Idle. Run. There he goes. Watch this. He's going to go. He's going to do this all himself. I trust my little train. And he's going to go all the way down there. He's going to stop. It's going to work good. Watch. <laughs> okay, speed up time. That little guy wasn't supposed to go there, but that's okay. We will, uh, we'll, we'll give him a break for now. I think I had the, I think I had the switches set wrong. <laughs> it's okay. It's working. Let's go turn him off. Uh, we'll unhook him and we're going to send him back the other way. So, uh, let's go, uh, idle. Okay. I know you're there little dude. Link broken. Okay. So he should now, if I hit reverse, running he should go all the way back there we go sweet right just like that now we're gonna make that upgrade um, but I want to also do something else here I'm gonna stop him right here for a second and we're gonna pick him up on the way back up because I want to try out something here all right you you uh, idle thank you and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a couple things we're gonna build this upgrade here uh, I think I got plenty of emeralds I I'm not really too worried about emeralds right now because we brought a lot over from from our other life when the government came for our oil yeah but uh, let's see if I've got let's do see these got the different upgrades yeah 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 cool I'm, I'm just gonna go bigger go home oh, I don't even know what we got for emeralds still left yeah 27 I'll, I'll blow an emerald on that okay and then I've also got a, a, a rail craft here I want to pull out another one that's locking the buffer stops right here. So I was kind of cheating this system here and I had a slab out there. I think it just looks so much better to have this out there. So, all right, let's go put this range upgrade in there. Let's turn this turn old boy back on, get him up there and we'll put him uh, back in into a spot there and we'll get ready for the next group of, uh, of, uh, of oil. Come on, get out of our way. I'm faster than you, buddy. I'm faster. I know I am. <laughs> We're racing our train. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so we'll get rid of this and this. And I'm going to slap this right down here. There we go. Oh, wrong way. I think I can switch this. There we go. All right, just shift right click. Okay, so he's going to hit that. He should stop. Okay. Yeah, just like that. And we'll go shut down. All right, let's go put this upgrade up there and see if this is going to get us going any further. I'm thinking it's probably going to. And at some point in time, we may need to break all that upper levels down and then come down a little bit further. So um, I am kind of curious on how far this came down. I mean, this came down a pretty good ways. I mean, what are we at here? That's 107. And I think we were up here a ways. We were up here a long ways, by the way. 127 so that dropped 27 or 20 all right let's throw that guy in there and we got the power I'm not real worried about that let's see here filter oil yeah working pause well hide work area I would like to show the work area actually. Whoa. Okay, so that's going to pick up everything out there, it looks like. Sort of. Let's drop a bit in here. I, my shaders are kind of having some issues with it, but that's okay. I'll live with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, are you still coming down from there? It, it's not all right well give me a second here I'm gonna take a double look here see what we got going on and then uh, I'll get right back with you guys and we'll, we'll finalize the day and looking at what we got going on here with this so 
We'll see you guys in just a second when I can figure out what the heck is going on. Okay, I think I've got it fixed here. I've got this area loaded in here. And what I've got is let's go upstairs and continue to check that. So I think what ended up happening is since we didn't put the upgrade in real early, it didn't account for the area. And in reading the documentation about it, it's a one by one straight down area is what it looks at. And I don't know if that's actually 100% accurate, but by adding the range upgrade, I was able to increase some of our, our distance here. And now if we look here, this thing can continuously, it was a second ago, and hopefully it's still working, it was pulling in liquid. So it is working. See, look, it's, par it's pulling in a little bit. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's getting it from somewhere. And it should be replacing it with cobblestone. So if we start to scan, kind of scan around here, I was hoping maybe we could see where it was going. And I don't see anything. And I brought some more coal up here because we need some more power in there. Because this thing's this thing's working okay. Let's go ahead and turn on the show the work area here and see if I can get that. Oh my gosh, is that way out there? I mean, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if so, that's just going to pick up everything, by the way. <laughs> so that should be more than enough to get all this cleaned up. I, one, I just, I don't know if I have enough, enough storage area. All right, this is filling up. That's good news there. Let's go ahead. I want to uh, turn off that. All right, so this is working. Now we just got to get it all kind of tanked over there. So I don't know if that's going to be enough. That's, that's, oh my gosh. And I don't even know how much is underground. It's a thing either. So gosh almighty, let's get this second load here. And then uh, we're going to be done for the day. And I'm just going to kind of continue to sit here and uh, get oil. Because when, hopefully when we come back, we're going to have all of our oil accounted for, done, and everything else. So I am I am pretty excited to have all that done. So we're going to go ahead and link you and you. And no, uh, no, no. Go the other way. There we go. There we go. Link created. Awesome. And I'm going to link create you and you. All right. And now we're going to fill up, and then they're going to continue to move on. Now, hopefully we'll start to see the rest of this start turning into cobblestone. I can clean cobblestone up all day long. It's this oil's a pain in the butt to clean up, by the way. It is a serious pain in the butt to clean up. All right, where are you at here? All right, look at that. And I was always complaining it was a little slow, but that's 32 buckets. I mean, we're, I don't know what we're going to do with all this oil. We just got to get out of here. <laughs> So, oh goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen, I I'm gonna let y'all go. I got oil flowing. I just gotta get it all picked up now. It's been fun. <laughs> so hopefully, when you guys come back, this is all taken care of. Again, we've been doing a lot of crazy work around here, a lot of time actually. So, uh, with that, I want to say thank you. I always appreciate y'all. I really, really do. And uh, I'm gonna let you go. But before that, my name's C Scott, and we'll catch y'all again very, very soon.